All right, guys, welcome back. Today, I am pleased to announce that we continue with another episode of the one, the only, Red Dead Redemption 2. I've been enjoying this game this second time around just as much as when I very first played this game for the first time ever. I hope that made sense. What I'm trying to say is I feel even possibly more emerged this time around because I know I don't have to hurry to post these videos. I can fully lose myself, emerge myself with the world of Red Dead. And I just wanted to make sure you guys know this is the highlight of my day. Aside hanging out with the family, obviously. Well, there's only so much that I do. I just record, edit, hang out with the family, go to sleep. The process repeats itself. But I just want to say, I love this. And I will continue to praise this game for the rest of my life. Now, things are going to change around here. In today's episode, I've been reading the comments. You guys want me to change Arthur's wardrobe, if you will. We're probably going to give him a little haircut, maybe tone down the beard a little bit, give him a stash. I don't know. We'll play with it. But things are going to change for today's episode. And today is going to be one of my favorite episodes, which is going to be we're going to go hunting for a legendary bear. You guys know how much I love hunting legendary animals. And today is going to be the day where we learn all about that. So well, here we are. Before we go anywhere, when I came over here to kind of pose for you guys for the introduction of this video, because yes, we got to pose, okay? You're not doing it right if you're not posing. Now, where? Hold on. I don't want my horse to die. You know what? I got an idea. I'm going to get down here before I embarrass myself. I'm going to jump down here. There's a man shooting some targets. I want to see what this is all about. Would you be interested in some friendly competition? Oh, competition? I want some friendly competition. I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? <laughs> Me? A real gunslinger? Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready. Okay. Hold on. Right? <laughs> Aim at the bottles. Shoot. That's all you got, man? Perfecto. Oh, God. Arthur, what are you doing? Damn it all. How the hell did you beat me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. All right, real simple. First one to hit four flying birds wins. Four flying birds, my boy. Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> this man's gonna be mad. What, <laughs> man? Stupid, stupid. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, so you can shoot, huh? Ah, uh, here it is. Okay. Okay, man. Out of my word. You have unlocked new reinforced equipment at the trapper. Visit Pearson for information about the trapper. A trapper. Kill two different species. You want the money or not? Yes, yes. Give me the ten dollars, man. This life ain't free. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Oh, well, it was nice uh, sharpshooting with your partner. I gotta go. I'm about to be a changed man for the rest of my life. Now, the reason I might change Arthur's beer is because I know there's a certain chapter within the story that eventually a lot of time passes by. And then his beard is already fully grown out. Or at least it happened to me that way the first time around. So I have no problem with probably trimming down the beard a little bit. And then just continuing. You know what I mean? But that was fun. Starting off with a stranger mission is always a good time. For those of you that are watching this series for the first time, I'm going to be playing this game or this series as if I was playing at home, hanging out. Basically not doing videos, if that makes any sense. 
This is gonna be as organically as possible. Okay, I'm gonna head over to my little campsite. Where is it? I think it's right here. Hello, Arthur. How are you doing, Dutch? Okay, I think it was here, right? Yes, so we can shave. Let's check this out. Ooh, I mean, I do like my beard. It's looking mighty, mighty fancy. But we do need a little trim, you know? Um, let's see. Oh, God. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave the stash, right? We're not going to... We're not going to take off the stash. We're going to leave the stash. Yes. Yes. Check out that chiseled jaw, man. <laughs> yes. Yes. Jesus, Arthur. Looking like a new man. <laughs> I freak. Dude, he's got a chiseled jaw, bro. That's, that's what you call the Brad Pitt jaw right there. I don't got one of those, unfortunately. But, hey. It's okay. All right. So, we're going to change the clothes. We're going to go ahead see what do we have in outfits. I kind of like this. Just too much baggage, to be honest. A little too much baggage. The rebel. Hmm. All right. So let's see. Coats. No coats. It's too hot for coats. We're not in a winter just yet. We're going to go to shirts. Here we go. So shirts. Everyday shirt. Ooh, this one's nice. All right, so I'm trying to see which one has multiple colors. Oh, this is nice and refreshing. Very nice. And then we've got the uni. Hmm. I kind of like the French dress shirt. Now, for the pants, do we want pants, jeans? I think what we have is fine. Just probably change the color a little bit. Right? Yes. And then suspenders. Do we want suspenders? We'll keep the suspenders. I like me some cotton suspenders. For the chaps. No chaps. Thank you, sir. Coats. No coats, we said. The hat. We're going to go with the good old Arthur's gambler hats. Yes, sir, indeed. Hell yeah. Okay, so we've got that. Um, I do want to actually put maybe like a black shirt, but I feel this is refreshing for the weather. So we're going to go ahead and save this outfit. And I think we're good. Let's see. Let's check this out. Okay. It feels a little refreshing, right? But I don't feel gangster enough. I gotta change the shirt. I know. I'm sorry, dude. It's gonna be a little too hot, but we gotta go with the black. Once you go black, you never go back. Okay? It is what it is, Arthur. Oh, yeah. Now we're looking gangsta as hell. All right. Excellent. So we do have a love letter from one of our misses. Um, should we do that first? Yeah, you know what? We just got to cut, clean shaved. I think right now is the perfect time to go and uh, check out this love letter. Here we go. Inspect the letter. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. <laughs> and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Mary frickin' Linton, man. Mary Linton. Okay, so... You know what? We're going to go to Mary Linton afterwards. Okay, we're going to see what that's all about. I do remember that it was his ex-wife or to be ex-wife or something like that. But she's actually in Valentine or near Valentine. So we don't start the mission right off the bat. So since we're already here, we're going to go with our friend Hosea. And we're going to go hunting. And yes, we're going to be doing some side missions. Jose, At least one. Go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? 
I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. And I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. Oh, my God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading, exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So all right. ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. <laughs> Let's take him to Valentine. He stole them, it's okay. The way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You can buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Yeah. Okay. Come on, partner. Well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. There goes my horse pooping again. Gotta love him. Saddle up. This is gonna be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. <laughs> Don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Easy, big fella. Alright, let's head into town. And maybe stay out of the saloon this time. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. We're heading out. Might Look at this. A couple of days. Just got a black shirt, got a good range of horse black pants, and black horse. Stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Aww. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well... Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Man. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. There's so much backstory, even during like just the regular speeches, you know? It's so interesting. I feel there's so much within this game, the story, that we could e even have a prequel to RDR2. I would be so happy with that too. Just saying, the upbringing of the gang and all that. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to uh, that bear out with. This horse keeps on shitting. You nice. You heard it here first. The next Red Dead Redemption game is going to be a prequel to the prequel. In you go. That would be awesome. It might not be. I don't know. It's probably going to be like 20 years from now when we get another RDR game, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse, something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No, no papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. All right, here we go. So stabling your horse allows you to store it 
at the stable so you can access it later if you sell the horse it will be paid okay so we're gonna sell this horse it's, it's part of the game that's what the game wants us to do right now kind of so then we're gonna go we've got the morgan american standard bread and the dutch warm blood 400 it's kind of crazy how this one's actually what better yeah we're gonna go with a thorough no thoroughbred yeah it's a racehorse my horse <laughs> We're going to name him Blackie. It's not completely all black coated, but still very beautiful indeed. Okay, so tracks and services. Now, I know that we only have $130. And these things cost quite a lot of money. Like, let's check out this saddle. Freaking heck, hold on. Did I just buy... What did I just... Oh my god, I bought it accidentally. Oh my god, I'm so I'm so pissed off right now. Oh my god, that's just, that's disgusting. Okay, you know what? I'm done. I was gonna put a nice little mane on this horse, but I'm I'm I just spent a hundred and forty dollars or so. Or about a hundred and maybe a little bit less. Like eighty seven I don't I don't even know how much I spent. I didn't see it. Okay, I'm gonna get a horse uh, revival. Where is it? There we go. Jesus Christ, man! All right, partner. <laughs> what the hell did you I just yourself do? a deal? I just and a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. All right, let's see. So... I was gonna browse a little bit, but I'm so damn pissed off. I don't want to look at anything else before I make another mistake. Here are your papers, and on me. A new grooming brush and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. Now. Looks like a nice animal you got there. Thank you, Hosea. Yeah. Yes, eh. we'll see. Kind of, sort of. This is going to be a much better horse. Ooh. And yes, we're going to be taming some wild horses eventually as well. That's one of my favorite things to do. All sorts of horses. We you will indeed. That new horse of yours or not? Yeah. Hold on, man. I just got to check out my horse, man. Call him Blackie. Let's check him out. Hop on up there. Let's go. Just confirming. What? You won't know till you get in the saddle. What? What are you looking at? You saw nothing, okay? Easy, boy. You're okay. You're okay, boy. Gonna brush and feed this thing. There we go. Make sure you're up and ready to go. Classic oat cakes. Okay, boy. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run. Up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. Easy. Mm. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's a code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. <sighs> Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Interesting. Yeah, dude, a prequel to this would be insane. Like a younger Arthur and like John. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. 
I think they set it up that way on purpose, you know, in a way. Like, the game starts right after a huge conflict within the gang. So why not go back yes. and experience that? Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. God damn, Micah. We send him out scouting, and he ends up in the jailhouse. Just lucky Lenny was with him. First time out of hiding his wanted man, and he gets tangled up with the law. To be fair, Arthur, trouble has a habit of finding you, too. Yeah, but we run with our code, always have. That don't mean nothing to him. Perhaps, but nothing's how it was right now. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Okay. Sure. Oh, try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful. A small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yeah. And obliterated them with a shotgun, <laughs> if I remember right. Hunt a rabbit. Okay. Yeah, rabbits. Here, little rabbit, 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 rabbit. Here, little rabbit, 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 rabbit. Got him. Perfect. Pick up the rabbit. Well, that was nice. I didn't even see the rabbit. I just saw the red. And that's all it took. Pick up the rabbit. Ah, oh, that's so messed up. <laughs> Jose, I've got a black-tailed jackrabbit. If you're so <laughs> intended in eating rabbit today, and in so inclined. Right. Getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Okay, so. Well, then you get a set up. Before I skin it, I want to see what I can do. Here we go. What happens if I don't skin them? Do I still keep the rabbit well, in my hands? Finished. Cook that rabbit then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <gasps> oh, I didn't get to skin them, so do I still keep them? Yes, we do. Effects. Oh, nice. I didn't know we could show the, uh, we can see the effects as well. Recipe. Minty. Ooh, wow. Cool. Well, I guess we just automatically skin them once we pop out the the campfire. It's probably just for like aesthetic purposes. Cowboy in the wild. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. Look on another. I think we can exit already, right? All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. All right, so we're going to go ahead and sleep. We're going to go and sleep till morning. You better be worth all this drama. That's pretty dangerous, just sleeping there right, right in the open, especially when the bear is, like, kind of near. <laughs> like, you're going to go hunt for a bear, you go to sleep, and then the, the bear just kills you overnight. <laughs> and you just wake up in heaven, like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> you ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. <sighs> so, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but... We might need to lay bait to draw them out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. 
Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. How you getting on with that bait? All right, so we're gonna craft the potent predator bait, which we need the gritty fish meat and blackberry. So then we'll go affects pristine predators in the vicinity. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Excellent. Pack up, Arthur. Get after him. Okay, let's go. This horse is actually not that bad. It's a little bit fugly on the pattern, but that's where I saw him last. Pretty cool. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. Uh, I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Hmm. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. That's Whoa. interesting. Jose kind of wants... Not out of it, but... He realizes that there's probably more to life than just being a crazy cowboy. Bones. Any sign of him. Okay, so LNS will activate Eagle Eye and find clues. Here we go. You have entered a legendary animal territory. Inspect. Well, oh, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. All right, we're gonna keep going this way. Tracks, go into those trees. What is this? Is that a fish? Wait yes. A Something on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything. I okay. Next one's right up top. Here we go. Something else on the ground, just here. Oh. <laughs> Looks real fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. Follow the trail. He just shit the fish out, man. man. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Uh, well. What do you think? I think we split up and each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? Hmm. Split up, use bait. Arthur? Use the bait. Definitely. There's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those Definitely. Up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. I think it would have been pointless to to create the bait. To lure him into us and then just split. That, that makes no sense. Born predator bait. That's right. Now we play the waiting game. Hmm. Thousand pounds, you say? More or less. 
big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. So I'm a little nervous. Let's just take a look at that bait. I think you're just more nervous than I am, Hosea. What's the big deal? Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Oh, bait is still there. We had here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. Now it's too close. Run, Arthur Morgan. <laughs> That's right, you stinking bear. Arthur. Get out of here. Messing around with a real outlaw. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. <laughs> it's nothing. Nothing at all. Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him. But that's <laughs> <another story. laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, I'm gonna stay. You coming or not? I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! and take that freaking bear out once and for all you understand new horses are available to purchase in valentine's scarlet meadows and strawberry okay complete the mission within 12 minutes man i don't want to complete the mission i didn't get gold because i didn't complete it within 12 minutes i want to take my time you understand what is wrong with that uh -huh. oh, we got some broken sticks yeah still a ways Here we go. More dung. Mm, disgusting. Okay. Where are you? Where are you, you little bear? Gotta be careful. I know I shot. Oh, there he is. I shot him a couple times. Dome. Oh shit! Ooh. Oh god! I'm gonna die. 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 <laughs> you have killed the legendary animal. Sell the pelt to the trapper. Let's go. They can craft it into a unique outfit. Oh shit. Hold on, man. I need to eat some beans or something. Some baked beans. Assorted biscuits. Something's got to give because I'm not looking too hot. We're about to go. We're about to go meet up with uh with Arthur's ex-girl. So we got to make sure we're <laughs> we're looking uh mint condition. Put on the hat. Can't let go of the hat. Never. You got to skin with the hat on. If you kill with the hat on, you skin with the hat on. Although I think my hat fell before I killed him, so I guess it doesn't really matter. By the way, if you guys have ever seen a bear without hair, I know that rhymed. You probably haven't. If you have, later on today, 
search up a bear without hair and tell me it doesn't look like a damn alien. It does. You won't recognize it. Hairless bear. Check it out. You'll remember. So we've got this big ass pelt. Um, now obviously we don't need to really like take this with us. I don't think so. I think it just stores it for us. When you skin or pluck an animal, you take the meat from the car because you can cook and eat the meat as a campfire for your core. Okay. Why am I running when my horse can just come to me? I gotta make this horse work for me, man. You cannot harvest all of the animal's parts. Hold on. My satchel. Hey, that's not a problem. You know what? It's not a problem at all. I'm gonna go ahead and discard. Damn. Probably just... Hold on, let me stow this. Damn, look at that big ass scratch in the back. Jesus Christ. Cracky. I'm gonna eat myself a carrot. Because why the hell not? You know, one of my favorite things about this game is when the music starts playing. So amazing. Like that. That slight music in the background just changes the whole mood, man. And they did it so great. Like, they they do it to a point where it's not always playing, you know? So you appreciate it more when it comes around. Alright. Check it out. Yep. <sighs> We're going to go to our map now. We've got the legendary bear, so now we can obviously see some legendary animals. We've got a trapper over here. Interesting. We could go to the tra uh, to this trapper, or we can go over here to Mary Linton. Hmm. I'm gonna go to the trapper, and then we'll then we'll head over to Mary Linton. I want to go to the trapper because we haven't gone to a trapper. The entire uh, walkthrough just yet. Now Pearson is slightly different than the trapper, or at, le at least I think he is. Pearson is. Uh, I don't think. I don't. I don't think if, if we take this this pelt to Pearson, he can do anything with it. So we're gonna go to an official trapper before. I don't know if I've ever been to this one. Okay. God, this is the first time I think we uh, have we been in this part of the world. I'm not sure. You ain't tracking. I was you, I'd go home. You're wasting the poor animal's time. Oh, this is pathetic. You even know how to use that damn weapon? Hey, there's plenty of country out there, so go find your own patch. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> One of them days. Well, at least I saved you the embarrassment of missing. Let me alone. That's all I want. That was hilarious. You ain't tracking shit. <laughs> oh my god, what a savage. I'm surprised that guy didn't flip on us. He didn't shoot us or anything. We were being pretty damn rude, if you ask me. Wow, man. Look at this freaking... Uh, the trapper should be straight down. I'm gonna cut some corners around here. There we go. Where's the trapper? Oh, there he is. Hello. Hello there. This is the trapper. He buys whole animal skins, furs, hides. Do I need to take the actual pelt? You can also craft various clothing items and animals uh, from the animals and pelts to sell him. Oh, I know the 
scars anywhere. Looks like Barati met his match at last. Thanks, oh, so that was his name. Hmm. Sell the pelt. And this, a claw from a legendary bear, can be used in crafting. Maybe we can use this with Pearson for the camp or something. Back awful soon. Now. All made to measure. So this is what we can buy now. The actual head. Which is going to be good for the winner. Items, let's see. Saddles. See, we can make saddles as well, but we need more perfect bear pelts. Okay. You seem the ambitious type. If you want a unique garment, you need to bring me a unique pelt. It'll be worth it. Oh, thank you. Hello? Please, I'm trapped. Uh, well, this don't look good for you. <laughs> Please, just help me, mister. My legs all numb. Please hurry. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Trying to antagonize her again. <gasps> yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Sure. You saved me. Okay. Oh, that was bad. Sure. Uh, Morning, mister. I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Who let the simpleton out oh, of the asylum? Poor <laughs> dumb animal. <laughs> oh. Damn, you, you just tell Mildred. <sighs> well, thank you. You need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. All right, get on the back of my horse, you woman. Know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Oh, we're going to Valentine. That's perfect. Well, you better get You'll on the need to go on a horse. Uh, my leg can't handle the walk. Okay, can I pick her up? All right, let's go. Come on, boy. Come on, lady. Perfect. Dude, this is let me let me take a look at the map. This is actually perfect. I was going just there. That's amazing. So yes, as as you know, I ended up not taking uh the other way. I went on horse just to enjoy the scenery. I've got this woman telling me to slow down. I mean, I don't understand. What do you expect from me? I'm a cowboy. I don't this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I I'd borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. Oh, and you See, killed it. Nice. Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. Slow down, please. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. Yeah. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. Hmm. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. Yeah. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like these, even if they do seem... odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. Yeah! Oh, God. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Wow. Man, these like little side stranger missions. Not, not even a mission. This is like a side. This is like the side mission of a side mission of a side mission. Really interesting. Yeah. So do we just drop her off now, or what happens? Slow down, please. 
I want to see what the heck happens with this lady and the guy that was offering this job. She so calls. We're close now. Just a little further. Let's see. Interesting days ahead. My friends, interesting days ahead indeed. You just bored you want to make an enemy? Let's see here. We're here. Thank you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. We take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Ah, uh, don't you worry. I got an eye on things. Howdy. Did we chase her? Well, well. That's what they're saying. Oh, she's just she's just, she's just gonna sit here and wait. You ought to learn how to ride a horse. You might be dead right now if not for me. I know. Trust me. I know. Oh, you getting indignant on me after I just saved your life? I didn't mean anything. <laughs> well, maybe I mean something. Maybe I mean to teach you a lesson. Oh, God. Lady, I was only kidding, man. I just saved your life. Why would I want to kill you after? That would be just psycho. But maybe I am a psycho. Where is she still running away? Where'd she go? Is she back there? That is hilarious. That was hilarious. All right. There we go. Oh, that was not what I was hoping, but hey, that's one way to make an entrance. Ain't it? Oh, yes, it is. We loved once and true. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Well, good. Mary? I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... You come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? And you want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. 
I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. What a savage. Boy. What a damn savage. What a damn savage. Oh, damn, I got bad honor for that. Shit, man, I just wanted some pelt. That's all. She owes me anyways. It's the least she can do. Did you imagine this guy actually going up to this chick, right? She's asking him for help, and then you see Arthur out through your window skidding the sheets. <laughs> oh, no. This was... Oh, this is so sad. And 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 this misery. No, don't not not like that, Arthur. Oh god, there goes the bad honor. Fucking crap. Maybe that maybe that's enough. That's it. If you sheeps keep going, I'm gonna kill you. Stop it. Okay? That's it. Can I skin this one? Okay, that, you know what? That's enough. Now you guys have some food. You guys can eat now, right? Okay, boy. Let's go. Actually, hold on. My horse is dirty as shit. And it's brushed the horse, you know? Brushed his horse. It seems really dirty. Come on, there you boy. go, boy. There it is, boy. All right, I'm going to feed the horse a little bit. A little snack. A little snackety snack snack. Okay, boy. Little snackety, 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 snack. Okay, so where is this other mission at? How far is this place, dude? Seriously? Are you kidding me? This lady's hot. Nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. Actually, you know what? I'm doing it. For the power of love, I will do it. Okay. So now we have to go save, I think it was what, her little brother who's joined up some sort of religious gang and they're out to kill him? Yeah, good boy. <clears throat> that sounds interesting. I remember this mission very well. It was actually pretty good. I love how there's been so many things that I, I kind of briefly remember, but when you play them, I, there's like so many details in between. That is like, okay, I didn't really recall or remember this part. And then it's like, it just, I don't know. It's like a slap in the face. Like when you play a game and then you think you know it all. But in reality, there's so much within that thing that you think you remember. Does that make any sense? I don't, I don't know. A dead, what happened to you? Hey, hey, you there. Think you could help a lady out? My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle, something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Up on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. I swear to God. You, you better not go. Emerald Ranch. Mind taking me there? Are you kidding me, lady? What the heck? It's the opposite direction. Ah, uh, woman. Hey, what are you doing? You know Get what? back on your horse. This ain't my problem. Find yourself another horse. Might as well just have left me to walk. I just keep on racking up the bad honor today, don't I? I'm sorry. Listen, I've got a family member to help out. I understand you're in a little bit of a pickle there, but you want me to go the opposite direction, woman. It's not happening. It's 
find yourself another horse. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that, but it was going to take me forever. And honestly, we don't got forever. Not, not today. Not right now. I don't got forever. You understand? I got things I got to do. I'm sorry. Whoa. we go guys we have arrived and what is chelonianism no less than the recent rediscovery of theology <laughs> gentlemen shell of safety 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 Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? Well, pass the kick your ass. I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? You're searching for whoever stole your common sense, you nutcase. <laughs> Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? <laughs> Only when dealing with idiots. Now let me talk to the boy. Subdue. You really want to do this the hard way? Goddamn lunatic. Is this clear enough for you? I don't want to choke Get him. Off of him. Leave him alone. <clears throat> That's enough, Arthur. A kid, come on. This is crap. You're better than this. Better than what? Better than one in paradise? Better than thinking these fools know a damn thing about paradise. Now let me take you home. You're a sad man, Arthur. You're a real sad man. Sure, but well, come home. No, not a chance. Oh, come on, little Timmy. Leave me alone, Arthur. I didn't ask for your help. <laughs> I just choked his leader to death. Come back here, Jamie. Just stop. Let's talk about this. This is none of your damn business. I can't even go any faster. There we go. They're just using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yeah. You pop up out of nowhere? Oh, come on, Jamie. Don't be like that. I was going to be your little, uh, your big bro once upon a time. Until your family thought it was too rough. Hold up a minute. I don't have to answer to you. Go. This kid is so stubborn. He's gonna snap his ankle and die. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Oh. I was doing just fine by myself. This <laughs> kid, bro. Sorry there, Mr. Damn. Look at the scenery. Hold on, we gotta give this horse something. This horse is about to flip on me. What are you talking about? You ain't no killer. You don't know who I am. Ah. <laughs> 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 oh 
Oh crap! Please, Arthur! I'm a man now! I, I found something! A calling! You're just a kid! You're making a big mistake! I'm not taking advice from you! You're an outlaw! You leave me alone! They're good people! I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan! <laughs> leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't wanna live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Okay, slowly press R2 to fill the meter. Now calm down. That's what you call a sharpshooter, son. Go see your sister. Or should I say, boy? Okay. <laughs> okay. This kid, bro. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. Looks like the kid from Home Alone. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. <sighs> That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. You see how much story they this give you? Wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It should definitely be a prequel to this game. Gillis, you were a kid last time I saw you. you. Didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. <laughs> they were <all> charitable donations. <laughs> Jesus, Jamie, come on. Charitable donations. I just believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. <laughs> what do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. Oh my god, no! Hold on! Thing is, he's my right. horse. I'm not good at anything. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta, before this horse goes out of control. Oh, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something. But, all right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Man, this is so sad. Like, if you think about it, that's it. Now it's like they're just leaving. It's this is why it's hard. Quicker, I might run off again. It's hard for me to be a bad guy when you play as Arthur. For me, at least, I, I just like him so much. I like him as a character. I, I don't want to be. I don't want him to be a villain. You know, just or an antagonist. I want him to have good, good honor and such. I, I enjoy it. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? There we go, boys. Here we go. Jamie! Jamie! Oh, come home, please. You've... Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home. 
for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. What a gentleman. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that. Luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. <laughs> feel so bad for him, dude. Howdy. Hello, sir. I wonder where you going. I wonder what what she'd say when she finds out about Arthur later on in the game. Hmm. Alright, so we're here in Valentine. Let me take a look. We have we have Bounty, we have Let's take a look at the camp. Do we have any other things? I wanted to do a side mission. Right now we have John Marston. John needs to speak to you. Pouring forth oil one. All right, let me see here. What? Uh, very what? <laughs> you got a problem? Look on the wall there if you're after another quarry. My lord, I seen mushrooms with bigger brains. <laughs> The roast, dude. This guy's a roaster. A roast artist. $250. Well, looks like trouble, all right. Bounty poster, Eliane Swan. They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Oh, uh -oh. I got it. This Question. bounty you're after, lady, what's she do? Mrs. Swan? <laughs> Poor dear, married the wrong man. She thought she could kill him and inherit a fortune. Instead, she got some debts and that bounty on her head. This lady murder, that kind of thing happened much around here? This is a cattle town. There's three men to every woman, <laughs> and three women to every woman of the marrying kind. Certain type of lady is drawn to this place. Indeed. All right, boys. So we're going to go straight to that. We are going to get this bounty. So now the question is, where's the bounty? Oh, it was in Wallace. Oh. It's in that side of town. That's not good. We we have a I think we have a bounty on our heads in that side of town, to be honest. Okay. So I don't want to buy any weapons just yet. Maybe on the next episode. I, I don't want to do everything in one episode. Um and besides, I feel like I need a little bit more money to get the proper stuff. Right now it's it's looking like pretty good weather. One thing I wish I could do in this game is take off my shirt. I think that would have been cool. I don't know if you can. Can you take off your shirt? Play without a shirt? I don't yep. remember. It might be possible. I just don't recall. Look at the... Dude, it's like a purple sunset. That is fucking beautiful. So, I don't know. I'm a little bit confused about this bounty. Is she really bad or is she just stuck with a bad marriage and made her bad? 
interesting all right my horse needs uh this horse is asking for a lot dude seriously i'm getting sick and tired of this fucking horse it's all right boy, it's all right, boy. let me go ahead and uh, i got no more tonics for you so i'm sorry there we go oat cakes you're gonna make me run out of oat cakes man We gotta be careful. Once we enter the other side of the map, uh, we're gonna be probably hunted down. So we've gotta be on our best behavior. So we've got the long back carbine, double barreled shotgun. Perfect. Yeah. Are we close? Yep, that's the bridge over there. Or is it? Your horse is dirty. Jesus Christ, this horse is pissing me off. Will you relax? Oh, don't aim. Don't, yeah, don't aim that at him. He's about to kick us. I'm trying to brush the horse. Calm down. Calm down. Alright. Brush the horse. There we go. At the horse. We need to calm down. We're about to go for a bounty hunter. You know what I'm saying? You got, you got to relax. It's you, can't okay, be, you, you, you can't be talking like this. I'm going to feed you a little bit. Maybe that ought to shut you up. Okay, boy. There, boy. Nice. Health increased yep. by four. Level four. Stamina increased. Ooh, that's also good. That's exactly what we yeah. needed right now. Oh, this is it. We have a bounty on our heads. Oh, God. Got to be very careful here. He's wanted alive. All right, let's see. Oh God. There's gotta be a camp somewhere, right? Ooh. Look at that. Wow, that's freaking beautiful. All right, so I'm trying to see. There's a bounty hunter. Get him. Oh, God. Eliana, I'm sorry, but I, uh, I'm, I'm going to make you go with the oh. No. Don't move, lady. You are a piece of work. Now, come in. Rot in hell. Bro! The rest of them. <laughs> Dude, she this just stabbed this poor kind of you. 
Wow. Bro, she just stabbed that poor man in the neck. Wow, dude. Holy smokes, what a Where's savage. Alright, so we're going to store her here. That is crazy. She was having a nice little romantic evening. And bam! I'm going to take the canned meat. Don't mind if I do. I probably need it more than you do, ma'am. Because you're going straight to prison. Search the saddlebag. I wish we uh, I wish we could steal saddlebags. That would be really clutch. I don't know why they didn't do that. I don't think that's a thing in this game. Which is a little a little sad to be honest. Settle in. You got a ride ahead of you. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's it, boy. Now we just gotta make sure we can get out of here in one piece. Oh dear. What came over me? Is that, did I just do those things? It's a, it's a horrible blur. But <laughs> I see blood. There's blood everywhere. It won't come out. I'm not like that. I'm a good girl. We're really. I promise I am. You believe me, don't you? Don't you, mister? Eh, not really. Yo. I, I wanted them to like have more dialogue, but I think I slipped. I have an illness. <laughs> a fever of the Come on, man. I thought I just lost it all right there. So you was just talking about something? An illness, a fever of the brain. I, I, I've done bad things, but a jail, a jail ain't where I belong. A sanatorium, maybe. Get me help, Mister. Please save me. Save me from the sheriff. And moreover, from myself. Nah. You're going straight to prison. The $250 are much, much worth you're what you're offering me. Man. I gotta so shh. Be quiet shh. with that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. See, everything else was okay, you know, but as soon as you start complimenting me for a reason, then that's where I gotta I smack you. You, you sad sack of shit. I wish I could. This the help you're looking for? <laughs> Sorry, that's rude. But hey, she asked for it, okay? Not my problem. She just killed that poor man back there. That must be so uncomfortable being hogtied like that in the back of a horse. Like, your spine must be, like, hating you right now. You want to try on me? I ain't looking for no problem. Just get me there. You're no fun at all. I'm afraid I ain't. Well, you see, the $250 is very fun. You order a lady killer here, Sheriff? <laughs> yeah, we did. Put her in the cell, won't you? I, I protest my innocence. I protest my innocence. She might be a little shaken up. She lost another feller out by the falls. Poor dear. Men just got a habit of dying around you, don't they, Mrs. Swan? I hope you'll be comfortable, miss. She'll be fine. Now come get your money off the desk here. Main 
Team Lester, age 19. Finally. Are these people that... Hmm. People that they're looking for in certain parts of, uh... Towns? I will take that money the clip. Black Widow herself. This town's so starved of women, I'm sure she could find herself a husband yet. Yeah, that's cowboys for you. <laughs> Indeed. So it seems this town's got more pressing problems than outlaws. Gonna take some time off posting bounties, impose law and order on the streets. That man has a heart of stone. It's silly to keep me locked up in here. I mean, what am I gonna do? Just little old me. Let me out to exercise a little. I'm immune to your charms, Mrs. Swan. It's so boring in here. Can we have some fun, Sheriff? Just the two of us. And to think you were sniffing around this office at one point. I'm lucky you was charmed by another. You see, Sheriff, I know your secrets. And I could spread them all over. Like Miss Moria? Don't you dare mention Moria again. Now hush. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh. show me some sympathy, Sheriff. I'm a widow, a poor little widow. You forget? They can say what they like about you, but at least you respected the sanctity of marriage. Till death do us part. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Very funny indeed. Okay, boy. Let's go. Hmm. Okay, so can I go to. Oh, hold on. What's going on here? You cause enough trouble. Huh? Beating up half the saloon like that? Come on. There's got to be a fight every night in that shithole. Just show some respect next time. We've run far worse than you out of town before. Oh, come on, man. Someone throws a punch, you punch back. Don't bother pretending different. As far as I care, you ain't even here. All right, good. Then shut your trap. My mistake. Hey, careful there. Ah, oh, it's closed? That's on the other side, right? Sorry, mister. Sorry, mister. I'm gonna bath. Yeah, I need to take a oh, shower. It's uh you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath perhaps? Yes. Who is moaning up there? Good old shower. I'm gonna scrub my head. <laughs> Would you like someone to take over for you? Oh, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. Ooh. You can just leave it to me now. Wow. Incredible service. You let me know if you <sighs> need anything, all right? Ah, oh, see, guys, outlaws need peace and tranquility from time to time. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. Been a while since I've been able to relax like this. Oh, really? So how's it going? Yes, not too bad. This is hilarious. Gotta take a break sometime. Life's too short. You're telling me. <laughs> Left leg. Look at this. 
Oh, I'm thinking, I don't want this to end. <laughs> You're thinking, when will this be over? <laughs> You're too much. I can tell you, good person. Oh, good. Oh, stop <laughs> it. You're too kind. Yo, this guy's a savage. So, what do you do for fun? Well, walks outside town is kind of nice. <laughs> yes, getting a sh good old bath. This man, bro, living the life right now. Doesn't get much better than this, right? Okay, I don't think I'm going to get much cleaner than this. Thank you. It was nice, nice meeting wow. you. Wow, okay. Wow, Mr. Arthur Morgan, looking nice and clean. The beer's already fully grown out almost. Jesus Christ. What does this man apply to that face? Chicken shit? I hear it works magic, but damn. What's going on? There's somebody... Somebody's having fun in there. <laughs> Motorboating and shit. Hello, you. <laughs> nice to see you, ladies. Hey there, cowboy. Hey, handsome. Good morning to you. Hello, mister. I'll say it again, lady. Hello. You already said hi to me. Don't worry, I'm just playing with you. I said, hello, lady. You ain't pretty, but at least you're funny. I'm only kidding around. I hope you're rich, because you sure ain't funny. Damn. Jesus, savage as hell. Well, take care now. See ya. You ever seen Batman? I, I mean, Spider-Man? So sorry. Wrong, wrong superhero. I'm sorry. Okay, that just didn't go the way I planned it. All right. So check this out. Oh, my horse is dirty. Hold on. Disgusting. Gotta brush this horse. It can't be clean and have a dirty horse. That defeats the purpose. Excellent. I gotta go ahead and hitch my horse. Did I hitch hitch the horse? I did not hitch the horse. So I will come here and Wait. hitch the horse. Lady, don't come at me right now. I'm I'm trying to hitch my damn horse. Susan. Will you come here? There we go. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. <clears throat> Mr. Matthews <clears throat> gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something too. He always does. Well, you Emerald. be well now, Mr. Morgan. I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Really? So if we go to Emerald Ranch, there's already something there. Very interesting. All right, so I wanted to do a... <clears throat> I wanted to see if we can do a little side quest here. I gotta, I gotta contribute to the camp a little bit. Contribute. Okay, perfect. So I will give an item. <clears throat> Actually, no, I will not. I will give money. I'll get five dollars. You know, seven, seven dollars. Perfect. 
good honor, man. We need the good honor. And then we've got over here. Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper. Got Pearson. So crafting. Let's see if we have anything new here with Pearson. Can you give me some leather working tools? I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. All right, I'll see what I can do. John's Lodge, Camp's Tables, Truck Wagon. Hanging Bones. We gotta get some Elks and stuff like that, I guess. Thanks, Pearson. <laughs> this stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and give him some the meat either of a sheep or goats to be used in cooking. Just in time, Mr. Morgan. Thank you, Arthur. Sure. Good morning. I probably should keep the meat, honestly, but whatever. It doesn't matter. The stew is currently being prepared. Check again afternoon. Beer bottle. Take one to the dome, boys. I'm trying to find out how I can interact with this little icon here, but I don't know. How are you doing, Dutch? Okay, he doesn't want to. Okay, he doesn't want to talk to me today. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna go speak to Charles, an asshole. What you prepare for? The greatest of gifts. An unguarded stagecoach. No, you simple-minded fool. Bison. Bison? Ooh. Bison. From which you can get anything. There's some over on the plains, I believe. I saw a couple a long way off. Oh. Right? Good luck. You want to come with me? I'll show you how we hunt one. Sure. Why not? Mount up then. Let's go. All right, let's get it. Exciting. Exciting stuff, man. We're about to go hunting with Charles. Probably going to be with bow and arrow. That's for sure. That's going to be awesome. It was before my time, of course, but my mother used to tell me stories of how her tribe moved with the bison. They lived almost as one. When the bison went, my people went. And they were the center of all life. We couldn't survive without them. They provided us with everything. Food, clothing, shelter, tools. It was a lot of respect. Huh. I don't remember much of my childhood, but I think my people, well, we pretty much moved with the whiskey. <laughs> well, my father did that too. Let's try over here to the left. This is gonna be cool. It's like, Over I like there. every character in this game, one? except Micah. Incredible but everybody one, else, man. such a good character. One of them. I'll keep them ringed in and you see if you can bring one down. Okay? Clean as you can. Okay. Bring down one bison. Bison. Oh, shit. Yeah. I don't think this is going to work. so sad all right skin and butcher it. take the horns too it can all be used look at all the arrow marks oh Ooh. interesting mr arthur morgan good job damn i'll fuck that on your horse and mount up i want to go check something out of course, Red Dead Redemption side mission would not end okay. with just hunting and Let's leaving. Go. There's always got to be something else. Maybe perhaps a surprise. Boy, where are we going? I thought I saw some scavenger birds over here. Just wanted to see what attracted them. <clears throat> no. Look. Bison. 
shot and left for dead, it looks like. Why would someone do that? I don't know. But I see tracks heading in this direction. I say we follow them. All right. Lead the way. Already starting to rock. Wow. Let's go, Charles. Could it have been an animal? No, they've been shot. I just don't know why anybody would just leave them here to rot like that. I mean, bro, we just killed one. And we left him dead to rot. Look, another dead bison on the hill to the right. Come on. Oh, what the hell? Shot and left for dead again. But this one looks fresher. There's a camp there. I'm going to take a look. What a damn waste. I mean, I get it. Yeah, they're, they're not doing anything with the bison. It's just wasting it. I get it. Is there anything here? Did you find something? Dogs haven't gone cold yet. Maybe half a day since they left. Bison's been dead about the same amount of time. So what do you want to do? They could still be in the area. Let's get up higher. See if we spot anything. All right, lead the way, Charles. This way. We should have a good view from up here. Okay. You see anything? Arthur, look. Smoke to the north. Could be another camp. Hmm. Let's go check it out. All right, let's go check it. I'm okay with that, Charles. Bastards. Killing for fun. You think we can talk? I don't kill for fun. <laughs> I kill when I need to. Yeah, that's got to be them, all right. Look, more dead bison. It has to be them. Come on. Wait up. Oh, he mad now. Gotta get ready, man. Did you fools shoot those bison? What's your problem? I said, did you fools shoot those bison? Calm down, you black or red bastard, whatever the fuck you are. Did you shoot them? Yes, we did. We shot them bison. We'll shoot you too if you don't get. What business is it of yours? What we? Do? Oh. It's that business of mine. Good God, you're crazy! Look, I got a family. A family. Don't shoot me. Stand back, Charles. I'll get you some answers. What the hell are you doing? Why are you killing those bison and leaving them to rot? I don't know what you're talking about. You just said you killed them. God damn it, tell us or you're dead. Oh, okay. We were paid to kill as many as we could and make it look like it was Indians. Just kill him, Arthur. No, please don't kill me. I'm begging you. All right, I'll get out of here. Oh, just don't, don't shoot me, mister. I got a family. Then run away. Why did you do that? He didn't need to die. Maybe he'll go tell his friends now what happens to poachers. I've seen enough of this. I'm heading back. Oh, Charles okay. is a savage. I'm going to see if there's <laughs> anything worth taking from this. <laughs> he wanted to kill them all. Catch up with you later. Well, if we've learned anything about today is don't mess with Charles's bison. Okay? He will kill you. Friend or foe. He don't care. Chewing tobacco. And take any more of that. What do we have here? Damn, he straight shot that dude. 
Oh no, I don't want that shitty hat. No. Ugh. A lockbox. What do we have here? Poison throwing knife. What? In close combat altercations with wildlife, the hunter can often become the hunted if the animal is not dis dispatched quickly. Throwing a knife at an animal works. However, it may result in the loss of a very good knife. The animal flees while it remains buried in their hide. The recipe that I provided will allow an animal... Okay, this recipe will drop an animal in a matter of seconds. Throwing knife. Uh, the Olander sage plants. So how to prepare? Take a throwing knife and carefully rub Olander sage plants along the blade store and satchel outdoorsman tip if no water can be found for days do not just uh do not substitute drinking liquor salt water urine or blood as they bring on delirium you have learned poison throwing knife recipe cool so not only do we get little stories and stuff like that but we also unlock Crafting recipes. What's up with that bison over there? Come on. Hey, it's, it hurts to kill these animals with a with a bow and arrow, dude. Charles would be pissed off at me right now. <laughs> Charles would probably kill me. Oh, look at the eyes. Poor, th poor thing. I'm sorry. But oh, we need bison. We need it for um for certain things. But we gotta kill him. Wow. Take the horns and we're good to go. All right, now I don't think we can put the pelt there. Stop shitting, man. Do we still keep the pelt? We probably don't need it. Okay, I don't know why I killed it. I'm sorry. Okay, now I have pelt there. Let me see. How much pelt do I have? Bison pelt. We've only got one. I, I I cannot replace it. That was... I guess we got the horns. Which, I guess it's okay. So what we're going to do is... We're going to set camp right here, boys. Right up in here. And... With that said... It pains me to say... We're going to end this episode here. Well, thank you so much for watching... I hope you had a good time in today's episode. I had a fabulous time. Everything went very smooth. And I cannot wait to continue the story. And continue just exploring the world of Red Dead. So thank you. And I hope to catch you on the next one.